it into as input that print function. And to do that, we're going to need one more feature of programming. Namely, variables. And odds are, most everyone's familiar with variables from math class way back when, x and y and z and the like. Well, programming has that same capability this ability to create a variable, in this case, in the computer's memory, not just on a piece of paper. And that variable can store a value, a number, some text, even an image or video or more. A variable is just a container for some value inside. Of a computer or inside of your own program. So, how do I go about expressing myself in this way? Well, I think what I'm going to do is introduce a variable that's a little more interestingly named than x or y. I, I could just say this x equals input, but I'm going to use a better name than a typical mathematical. Variable here, and I'm going to literally call my variable name. Why? Well, in programming, because I have a whole keyboard in front of me, I can use more descriptive terms to describe what it is I'm writing. In. And now, but here it's easy to make a mistake. Suppose I decide to try to print that name, and so I, I kind of, on a hunch, type in this hello, comma, name, just kind of plugging in the name of the variable. Well, let me go ahead here and run Python of hello.py and hit enter. That's going to prompt me for my name. And let me type in my name, D A V I D, but I haven't hit enter yet. And perhaps via the chat, what's going to happen here when I now hit enter? I'm hoping it says, hello, David. I'd be OK if it says, hello, world. But I don't want it to say what it's actually going to say. And yep, what we're seeing in the chat is, well, it's probably going to say literally, hello, comma, Name. So that's not quite right. So we need another way of printing out the value inside of that variable rather than just this word name. Let's now print name. And just on a hunch, I'm going to try this. I'm going to use print again, because you can use these functions as many times as you need. And I'm going to pass to the name, to the print function, the variable called name. But notice, I'm being a little clever now. I'm not putting it in double quotes, because we've seen already that double quotes means literally print out N A M E. I'm getting rid of the quotes this time in hopes that now by passing the variable called name to the function called print, it will in fact go about printing the contents of that variable, that is its so called value. All right, let's go ahead and do this here. Python of hello.py, enter. What's your name? David. And now, crossing my fingers still, I see hello, comma, David.、Yeah!